This is Ferris Weiser of dsdatabase.org, and today we have an unboxing of the iPhone 4S. The iPhone 4S released today, and um, basically the, it was up for pre-order on October 7th, and I'm sure there are people lining up around the world right now. Um, I ordered it at 1, 1 a.m. in the morning, so uh, I was lucky enough to get it on release day. The UPS guy dropped it off uh, this morning, and I'm surprised it showed up on time considering it's Canada and the postal service here sucks. But um, I ordered it off the Canadian Apple website. There is a plus to that because we get the factory unlocked model. Um, from what I understand, countries there are many countries out there, including the US, that are only shipping uh, carrier locked devices right now. Um, I ordered the white iPhone 16 gig model, um, so that's probably what's in the box right now. Um, the Apple iPhone 4S, if you haven't heard, is identical to the iPhone 4 in terms of design, um, as well as size. Um, however, the iPhone 4 does weigh a couple grams more. Um, it also has hardware and software upgrades. The most significant upgrade is, of course, the camera on the back. Um, it has moved up from a 4 lens to a 5 lens system, and now it is an 8 megapixel camera with uh, 1080p 30fps video recording capabilities. The little LED flash beside it has also received an upgrade. I am not quite sure what that means, whether it's brighter or... Um, more intuitive to use, I have no clue. There's also, of course, the Apple A5 chip, so the processor on board this phone is upgraded. It's not using the A4 chip on the iPhone 4 anymore. It is a dual-core chip. Apparently, uh, Apple claims that it's up to two times processing power and up to seven times graphics. What that translates to is that there are going to be games and apps that are iPhone 4S exclusive. Um, and these are probably going to show up today, or may have even showed up. So um, there's, of course, a dozen other minor upgrades that no one really cares about. Um, you know, Bluetooth 4.0, I guess you would care about that. Um, this is also a world phone, as um, Apple calls it, which means that it supports GSM and CDMA at once. Um, so that means one phone will work on most of the carriers in your area. And um, as mentioned, uh, there are various upgrades to, uh, to, the, to the connectivity. Um, in terms of software, Apple has also included uh, Siri on this phone. So Siri is supposed to be a voice controlled, um, voice controlling software, and it is iPhone 4S only. The Siri will, you know, answer your questions, uh, chat with you, pull up things, do things on command. And we've seen this on other phones, but the iPhone 4S's Siri looks pretty impressive in terms of the demos. So um, only a thorough use will tell me whether it's really actually worth all the hype. And of course iPhone 4S is getting iOS 5. This device already comes with iOS 5 in it. The iPhone 4 and all other iOS devices are getting iOS 5, so um, we can see what that means in a moment. So more importantly, I thought we'd go through the phone again. It has the same 3.5 inch screen that the iPhone 4 has. A little disappointing seeing as competitors are moving towards 4, 4.3, 4.5 inch screens on a device of similar size and lower weight. Um, front face has the front face and camera. There's the speaker, the sensor. There's, of course, the home button. On the bottom, we have speakers and the the Apple jack that connects to, you know, HDMI or USB and all the other things your adapters can move it to. There's, of course, the microphone jack, the power button, 
And on the right side, there is the tray for micro SIM, so everything's just like the iPhone 4 so far. There is there is the hold button over here, the volume buttons, lower and higher. And on the back, as mentioned, um, we have the upgraded camera, so 1080p, uh, the LED flash, the Apple logo, the iPhone logo, and the um, assembled in China model number, things like that. What I find interesting is that they didn't even bother putting 4S on the back, so um, if you are trying to show off to your friends, they have to go look at the model number and Google it to find out that it's a 4S. I guess you can probably turn on the phone, but for iPhone 4 users, you could probably get away with saying that it's an iPhone 4S um, and save yourself a couple hundred bucks. The rest of the packaging is pretty standard Apple stuff as well. Um, I think, again, it is identical to the iPhone 4. So we have, of course, the plastic tray. There's um, this package which has the manual and also the, um, the tug that pulls out the micro SIM tray. Um, there's also warning, warranty, things like that in here. Um, we have the wall socket, uh, so you plug your USB cable in here and plug this into your wall. Um, this is a universal USB charger, so it will work with other devices and other cables. The, of course, the cable that connects it to USB and the headphones. Uh, this is the one with the mic and the control, so it is the nicer headphones. So back to the iPhone 4S, uh, unfortunately I did try and um, turn this on a while ago and activation does fail without a SIM card so I cannot do it just yet. So right off the bat you get a welcome screen, you can set it to English and so on. I wish I could show you in this video, you know, the various iOS 5 improvements like um, iCloud where you can stream movies, photos, music uh, between your devices and your Mac and the internet. Uh, there's the new notification system which is very similar to the Android where you can pull it down from the top. Um, there's of course iMessage, so Apple solution to BBM. Um, so all your messages will go through Apple servers and um, they won't charge you for texting or whatever. Um, there's like Twitter integration. I will save all that for maybe a first impression. I probably won't do a first impression, but I will definitely do a review in the upcoming days or weeks, depending how long it takes me to get familiar with the iPhone 4S. Uh, hopefully I will get this all set up I, in a few hours and I can show a video demoing Siri and him answering funny questions. So um, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on dsdatabase.org. I will definitely be updating the website with more iPhone 4S goodies. So thanks for watching.